welcome to Trigger King RC Retro Bracket 2 from event number 2 of the 2024 Summer Series. Looking straight away at qualifying results. Number 3, Buffalo Tremor. Number 2, Bigfoot 7. He was the top qualifier in bracket 1, so holding strong there. And charging to the top, Orange Outlaw, Doug Welker. Taking a look at the top eight in qualifying as we get ready for this 19 truck bracket. Round number one is getting underway. It's King Ghidorah, Aaron Janes, and Bigfoot one, Chris Hackinson. Neck and neck coming into the final straightaway on, on this St. Louis style track, but Hackinson, smooth and straight, opens up the lead and wins round number one. Gunslinger and Orangeinator on the line. Corps in the lead as we head down to the final straightaway. Gunslinger with a big wheelie. Slowed the truck up a lot, but he was cocked locked and ready to rock and he got it done. Our final pair in round number one, a small, small round as we head into round number two, which is really the preliminary round, but we've got barefoot Chris Hackinson and Thunder Chicken Chris Lane. Oh, chicken looking strong, and then he got plucked. Barefoot takes the win. Round number two. Hackinson saw both trucks in round one, so he's felt out this tricky track as it's developed throughout the course of the day. The marbles, you can see it's created a groove through the corners, but there are a lot of marbles right on the edge of this track. And now the track surface where the trucks have laid down the groove is really bumpy. Orange Outlaw, the number one qualifier, wins to move on. We saw it last time out. King of the Grove with an incredible run to the finals on this slick surface with the wild 6x6 semi truck and Troy Hawes, Mile High Crusher. This an 8-9 matchup, and Hawes already in big trouble. Blank in the King of the Grove, sort of cruising along, still gotta make a good charge at it as Hawes trying to make up some time, but no use, the King moves on. But racer Chris Parrish, the number four qualifier, and the number 13 qualifier, Overkill, Michael Spurlock. Barefoot off to a lead down the front straightaway, carrying it through the back straightaway. Spurlock charging. Barefoot holds him on his hip and takes the win to move to round number three. Digger two, Josh Rhodes, number five, and the number 12, Rotten Ole Apple. Oh, Digger clips the jersey barrier. It almost rotated the truck perfectly, but a little over rotation in the end. And that is all it's going to take for the Apple to take the win. Number two qualifier, Bigfoot seven, and the number 15, Gunslinger, Fred Kors. Fred with a bit of a wild victory with that big wheelie in round number one, but right now he is in trouble against the number two qualifier. Chandler a little wide in the final corner, but not going to be enough as Bigfoot seven moves to round number three. Master of Disaster, Chris Parrish and Jeremy Mark in Taurus. Two very similar trucks. Great frenemies here on the track. But the gloves come off when it's race time. Master of Disaster off to the lead 
stretching the lead at the finish line and moving into round number three. Jeremy Mark right back up on the line with his other truck, Buffalo Trimmer, and Chris Hackinson and the Dodge Barefoot. Both trucks a little sloppy in turn number one. Hackinson wide, Jeremy in Buffalo Trimmer a little out of sorts. But Buffalo Trimmer cleans it up and wins this round of racing. Mr. Orange 4, Bob C. Chandler, part of the Orange Grove operation of Chris Blank, and Bigfoot 4, Josh Rhodes. We saw him take bracket number one last time out if you joined us, but Chandler in trouble, and now all out of shape. He's off the track. Rhodes looking smooth and steady with Bigfoot 4. Round number three of action. Number one, Orange Outlaw and King of the Grove. The King took down Orange Outlaw last time, but Orange Outlaw is the number one qualifier this time out. They're neck and neck. Outlaw with a little bit of a lead. King Grove, wow. The King was charging, but not quite enough. Orange Outlaw steals one. Rotten Ole Apple, number 12, and Barefoot Racer, Chris Parrish, the number four. Welker was just on the line with Orange Outlaw. Can he get this one done against Barefoot? Barefoot out to the lead in the final corner. Welker charging. A little out of shape to the finish line, but Barefoot wins this one. Parrish right back up on the line, this time in Master of Disaster, flying the TNT silver flag. And Bigfoot, Bob, Bob C. Chandler. Oh, wow, the tricky surface. Master of Disaster takes a hard right, all out of shape, back on the wheels, trying to make up ground, but it's not going to happen against competition like Bob Chandler. Bigfoot seven wins. Our final pair in round number three. Two J Concepts regulators on the line, two very similar trucks, Buffalo Trimmer and Bigfoot Four. Number three Trimmer and number six Rhodes and the Bigfoot. Oh, oh, wow, I think we're going to have to look at a TK replay but there was some hard charging on the top end of the track. They were neck and neck. Bigfoot four charging, but Tremor with some great bounces and some momentum. I think you just saw it right there. Slow-mo style Buffalo Tremor by a tire length. Semi-final action, wow, lots of action in this bracket of racing on the line. Number one, Orange Outlaw, and number four, Barefoot Racer. Barefoot with the lead off the line. Two great corners, neck and neck. Oh, a little bit of oversteer from Parrish in the Barefoot truck, and Orange Outlaw goes to the finals. Buffalo Trimmer, Jeremy Mark, and Bigfoot Seven, Bob C. Chandler. Chandler, last year's retro champion in Bigfoot Seven. Can Trimmer dethrone the champion? Oh, and he duffs it into the tabletop. More mistakes to compound the situation, trying to make up for one mistake, and Bigfoot Seven goes to the finals. Setting up a number one and number two matchup. Number one, Orange Outlaw, Doug Welker. And number two, Bigfoot Seven, Bob C. Chandler. Watch flight. Welker ekes out a little bit of a lead through the first corner. Wow. That was a close one. 
Watch this final corner as they come up here. Things start to go back and forth from there. Welker hits a couple of the turn markers, uh, skipping the truck along. Chandler charging over the final obstacle. But Welker gets the power back down. Incredibly close at the finish line. There you see it though by half the width of a tire. Bigfoot seven, Bob C. Chandler takes bracket number two in retro competition. But overall, with a finals appearance and a semifinals appearance, the overall title for the day goes to Orange Outlaw Doug Welker, and that puts him squarely tied for the lead with 12 points after th four brackets of Monster Truck Retro Racing. We thank you for joining us on TKRC-TV. Join us next time. <laughs>